Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Brie Taylor TV. Today I want to tell you guys a story that was one of the scariest moments of my life. It was a couple years ago. Me and my friends were at a party and it was at my friend's house. So I kind of knew my way around the house. So um, we were having a great time. It was a cool party and stuff. And then all of a sudden we hear something come on the intercoms in our house. And like the way the intercoms work, you can only use it when you're inside the house and everybody was like accounted for we knew where everybody was and it wasn't and no one was around the intercom so we got pretty scared and we waited for a while like in pure silence trying to see if it would come back on and it did so the first thing one of my friends does is call the cops after we call the cops they stayed on the line just to make like just to make sure that we knew where they were and that they knew what was going on so we stand on the line and um, a car pulls in the driveway and it's not the cops because um, my friend asked the lady, are you guys here? And she's like, no, our guys are still en route. So we all hide behind the couch and we're waiting and waiting. It was only like a couple of minutes after we called the cops, which is really strange. It's kind of like someone knew that we called the cops. And then we start freaking out, but like we stay really quiet because we don't want people to know where we are. I mean, I'm sure we could have been seen. So we were all waiting behind the couch and like, I'm not kidding, like four of us started to cry. At that moment, our hearts dropped because not only was there someone potentially already inside the house, now there's more people outside. So we are all like, life flashing before our eyes kind of moment. So here we are waiting to see what's gonna happen. We already had like weapons with us. I had like a knife in one hand. Someone else had like, a plant, I think. Another, like an old fashioned um, iron that you have to like put on the stove. So we were prepared if someone was to come inside, but it's still like, we're teenagers. Can we really defend ourselves, you know? So we're in there and we're waiting and then the cops finally get there, we see their car, and um, they come and knock on the door, and we let them in. So, we all come from behind the couches, and um, the cop is like going through all the rooms while we were waiting in the living room. And, like, I know that they don't have to check under all the beds and stuff, but like, their search was so, like, fast. Like, they didn't really look, but... So they check and say everything's all clear and um, then they leave. So we still have our weapons in hand and we, I know this is like the dumbest thing to do in any movie. We went and we checked and then like the first thing we noticed is like leaves in the hallway and none of us were outside. We all took our shoes off. The cop didn't leave any trail. It was only in the hallway. So again our hearts drop and in that moment we all like looked at each other and like you could like feel the fear and tension in the room so <clears throat> we go in and um first thing we look at we go into all the rooms and we check under all the beds and stuff and we didn't find anybody but like all we can think is like like what happened because the intercoms went off you can't do that from anywhere other than inside the house and all of us were accounted for you can't leave leaves on the floor in the hallway mind you it was like the leaves were dead and dry and it was like they were crunched up like someone had like stepped and left them there so like how did all that happen if no one was there so we were waiting and waiting for something to happen and then we hear the intercom thing again but it's just like a dead tone I want to say like they didn't no one said anything it was just like like when you press the button uh, it makes a sound like receiving and then it goes off after we checked all the rooms and stuff we uh, we just sat in the living room of this girl's house and we 
Like, you try, like, when something scary happens, you try to find any kind of explanation for what happened. And to this day, two or three years later, we still have no clue what was in the house, who was in the house, how those leaves got there, who pressed the intercom several times. So, um, that is the story about the time someone broke in to my friend's house and crashed the party. That was one of the most terrifying moments of my life. Still don't know what was there. Personally, I think it was like a ghost or something. I don't think that that's enough for me because I, I just feel like I need to know what happened. They moved out of that house, I'll tell you that. And um, yeah, that was the story. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story time. I know it was short, but um, I just felt that was a pretty, uh, it was a story that I should tell you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys can think of anything that it could have been, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you next week for another video.